Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 15th of 2023. Well, it is titled M16 Eagle Nebula Deep Field. So what do we see here? Well, this is the nebula part of it at least known as the Eagle Nebula and we see the central portion here and that bluish region toward the middle actually contains a young cluster of stars. Now when we see many nebulae like this and those emission nebulae like the Eagle Nebula are often regions of massive star formation. So where stars are forming and especially very massive stars which are the quickest to form. So we're seeing kind of a window into that star forming region in the center here and we see a lot of those hot stars. And those are the stars that are energizing the rest of this nebula and causing it to glow. It is those stars, those very early stars to form very massive that emit lots of ultraviolet light. And that ultraviolet light will then excite the gases around it that the blue light from those stars is also scattered off of dust grains giving the blue color to the region around those stars what we call a reflection nebula. You'll also notice tendrils of material pointing in towards those clusters of stars. Those are the denser knots of material and are regions where stars are still in the process of forming but have not yet broken out of their cocoons to become visible. So they are pointing in that direction because the energy from the stars eats away at all the low density material first. It is only those denser regions that remain and are harder to uh, eat away. So they remain and stars at the tip of them are still forming. And in a way it can be a fight between the stars and the gas and dust. Can the stars eat away at enough of that material before more stars have a chance to form? So as those first groups of stars form, they start to push the material back and stars will continue to form, but further away and they will continue to get further away and put in the material, the dust and gas will get pushed away until it is cleared out of this region, leaving behind just the cluster of stars, probably along with some wispy filaments of dust, a few that remain dust and gas, a little bit of it that remains, but the nebula itself will be gone. So the star form forming regions such as the Eagle Nebula are a very transient feature. And while we will see this for many lifetimes, and this will last for thousands and thousands of years, eventually it will continue the eating away process by the energy of the stars will continue. And eventually the gas and dust that we see here today will no longer be present. So that was our picture of the day for May 15th of 2023. It was titled M16 Eagle Nebula Deep Field. We'll be back again next time for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.